I'm going to make a video on how to set up your rod, reel and line combos correctly and how to set your drag correctly so that your line will never break. This might help after the update. A lot of people weren't happy with it taking so long to reel in fish and the wear and tear of their equipment. So this is going to help fix that problem. But if you're fishing with light equipment on purpose to get more XP, then you may not be interested in doing this. But if it's going to take an hour to reel in one fish, then is it really worth that extra amount of XP when you could probably be getting three or more of the, of the same fish with the less amount of XP using a heavier setup? But then you total all of those three or more. The total of those XP might be actually more than the extra XP you get by using a lighter setup, if that makes sense. <laughs> makes sense in my head, so hopefully it makes sense out loud. But anyway, I am doing this in the metric system as oh, that's what I use but I know some of you Americans do use the Imperial system or most of you Americans because you guys like to be different <laughs> and that is okay. But the, the same rules apply whether it's metric or Imperial. You just gotta, you know, use your own numbers and stuff that shows. Oh my God, I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so. All of my rods are set up correctly. And we'll start with this one. So the line weight with this one, it's a very little rod, <laughs> is one to three kilos. And then the max drag of my reel is 3.25 kilo. So the max drag should always be higher than the line weight of your rod, which mine is. It's only higher by a little bit, but it's still higher. With the line, if I can get on it, it is 2.7 kilo because your line, whether it's braid, fluoro, mono or whatever, it needs to be lower than the max weight of your rod. So the rod is 3 kilo max which and the line is 2.7. So the line is less than the max of the rod. You need to have it this way. So the line is always the weakest one and that will always snap before you snap a rod or you break a reel, which is a lot more expensive to fix than replacing some line. And if you're using a leader, you should have a leader that is the same amount as your line or less. I like to go less. That way, all I'll lose, I'm pretty sure, is just the bait and the hook. Whereas if I lose the line, then I'll use the lose the bait, the hook, and the sinker, and the whole thing. So it's easier to just lose the leader, but you can have it set as the same amount as your line if you want. It's just totally up to you. So my leader is 2.5 kilo, which is a little bit less than the 2.7 kilo of my line. So that is what I have for my bottom feeder setup rod. For my float rod or bobber rod, what we have is line weight maximum of 10 kilo. And I don't have this set up correctly. Would you look at that? What a hypocrite. I said I did, but I don't. <laughs> so the max drag is 7.7 .7 kilo which is lower than the max amount for my rod. So this isn't correct. I would need a reel that is over 10 kilos to go with this setup correctly. So I don't know how that's happened. Unless I've just put the wrong one on it. Let's have a look. Oops. No, I don't have one that's over 10 kilo. Well, let's go and buy one. 
So what's this? This is a... Oh, I'm shocked I don't remember what the different types of rods are. It's a float rod, which is a match rod, I'm pretty sure. Match rods can use, oops, spinning reels, so all good. Let's go spin reels. So I want one that is over 10 kilo. Let's have a look. Oh, that's why I don't have one yet, because of, I don't have one available. I'll have to wait till I get up a few levels. And then I could get that one. Or I'll probably get that one. I'll have to wait till I'm level 32 to be able to get that one because of then it's 11 kilo. So I guess at this point in time I am just using the lower reel. It'll just suffice until I'm up in a high enough level that I can get the stronger reel. So you can do that as well. Um, and with this one, we've got the line, which is 4.5 kilo, which is definitely less than the maximum 10 kilo, and it's less than the reel as well, which is good. This one, we have a maximum 6 kilo, this must be my spinner rod, it's not set up properly though. Uh, as in it doesn't have the jig head and um, lure on it. Um, yeah, so rod is maximum 6 kilo and the reel is maximum of 5.5 kilo. So again, this one isn't set up correctly. I need a reel that is stronger than the rod. So I've got some here, like this one is 8.15, which would be good. Yeah, so I'm just going to use this one because I've got nothing else. I could buy another one that's not so high above the line weight of the rod, but why spend more money when I've already got one here? doesn't matter if it's heaps above it, it's not going to make that much difference, I don't think, as long as it is higher than the max line weight of the rod. So we'll put that one on there. Um, the line... 4.5 kilo line that's okay too could probably use one that's a bit closer to the 6 kilo let's have a look and see what I've got I like to use fluoro as you can see everything except that one has fluoro but I bought a pack so I've got some free line in here so I'm just using it um, what do I want? I want one that's less than the 6 kilo. But I've got one. 5.5 is better than 4.5. So I'll probably put that on it instead. That sounds good. Dad's calling me. Sorry, Dad. I'm making a video. Um, I'm going to put that on there. I'm just going to go um, 100 metres. should be fine. What? Ugh, what is this doing? Oh my god. Thank you. Right, that's better. Isn't it? So six kilo ride. 5.5 kilo line. Okay, that's good. That's set up better now. And I'll put something on it just so I can open it up in a map. We'll just put put my purple narrow spoon that I like. Cool, cool, cool. Right, now I'm just going to go to Lone Star to show you how to set the drag correctly. 
So that hopefully has explained how to have your rod, reel and line set up correctly. I hope I explained it clearly enough, but if there's some things you don't understand, just send me a message or write it in the comments and I'll do my best to explain it further for you. This one's kind of a little bit more confusing because I wish I could like show you on a calculator what I'm doing exactly while I do it but we'll see how we go okay so to set your drag correctly so that you can have it at the highest drag setting to reel your fish in the fastest that you possibly can without your line snapping there are three things you need to know and that is the maximum drag of the reel the an amount of drag settings that the reel has and the line test weight of your line. So we'll start with this one. This rod here is my um, my lure rod. So it has eight drag settings and it has 8.15 of the maximum drag amount. So you need to divide the maximum drag by the number of drag settings. So this would be 8.15 divided by 8. That equals 1.01 .01, blah blah blah. I'm not going to give the whole amount of numbers that it pops out each time otherwise I'll be here forever. Okay so I need to times that sum that I get from dividing the maximum drag by the number of drag settings and I need to get it as close to as possible to the maximum line weight here on the line like the line test. So you want to get as close to as possible but not go over. So I'm going to times this sum here by 4 I'd say and that equals 4.07 okay so we'll try timesing it by 5 instead so to get it back to that original number on your calculator you've just times it by 4 so just divide it by 4 again to get it back to that number and now we'll try timesing it by 5 and that equals 5.09 so that's as close to the 5.5 as we're going to be able to get which means that 5 is the correct number of drag settings to put for this reel and this rod. That way I can catch a fish below 5.5 kilo, seeing as that is the maximum that this rod setup can handle, then um, that line's not going to break unless I'm catching it, I'm reeling in a fish that's bigger than that. It could go all the way up into the red but it just will not break it's like not set up to break that's why you do this so you don't have to stuff around changing the drag settings all the time putting it up and down and then having it snap or having the fish get off because it's too low it's just annoying so we'll do that again with all of my rods and hopefully by the time we do the three of them it will make more sense hopefully I'll be explaining it clearly enough so we'll put on my Phoenix this time so we have the maximum drag is 7.7 .7 for this one and the drag settings are 8 so divide the maximum drag by the number of drag settings So 7.7 .7 divided by 8. That was 7.7, .7, right? Yes. So 7.7 .7 divided by 8 equals 0 0.96. So I need to get that as close to my line as possible, which is 4.5. So I'm going to times this number by 5. That equals 4.81, which is too high for my line test. 
So divide it by 5 again to get back to that original number and we'll try timesing it by 4 and that equals 3.85 so that's the maximum that we'll be able to put on this one with four drag settings and now this rod well this line will never snap and it'll reel the fish in as close as fast as possible for this setup next one so with the feeder rods if you're using a leader you can't go by the maximum line test you have to go of the line you need to go by the maximum line test of your leader unless of course you are using the same test on your line and on your leader but I'm not as I like to use a, a weaker leader than my you know line so my line my leader is 2.5 and my line is 2.7 so my leader is the weakest one, so I have to go about that one. So we've got the max drag of the reel, which is 3.25. And the number of drag settings, which is 6. So you divide the maximum drag by the number of drag settings. Excuse me. So 3.25 divided by six so that equals 0 0.541 blah 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 so I am going to times that and get it as close as possible to my leader test which is 2.5 so I will try timesing that by five timesing multiplying same thing and that will give me 2.70 so that's too high for my leader so we'll divide it by 5 again to get back to that original number and we'll try timesing it by 4 that equals 2.16 now that's the closest I can get below the maximum line test of that leader so that that's the amount of drag settings I can set for this rod to never break when I'm reeling in a fish. Now, it all depends on what map you're on. This map, if you go through the fish species, you'll find that, you know, this is 0.2 kilo, this one's 0.3 kilo, this one says up to nine kilo, but I've never caught a nine kilo um, channel catfish in this map. I've never even caught a like three kilo, I don't think. So yeah, just bear in mind that this is a young channel catfish and this is the explanation here is for, you know, an adult channel catfish. So, gold and china, um, 450 gram fish, this one, 700 gram fish, um, 960 gram fish, so that's close to a kilo, this one, 2.3 kilo, so that's the highest fish so far. Smallmouth buffalo. He says it can typically weigh between two and a half to seven kilo, but some can reach up to 90 centimeters in length with a weight of 16 kilo. You're not going to catch a 16 kilo smallmouth buffalo at Lone Star Lake. I can tell you that much. <laughs> I think the maximum one I've caught is probably two and a half kilo at Lone Star Lake. So again, two and a half kilo is the maximum for this map so far. You just have to, you have to test some of it out. Like it's confusing. Like if this here says, oh, it's up to 16 kilo, then I need a 16 kilo rod. 
then you can always try a 16 kilo rod here at Lone Star Lake and then you'll soon start to realise, hey, I'm not catching fish that are anywhere near this size and then you can go down and use a rod that's smaller. Uh, then we've got this one which is weighing up to 4.6 but the average catch is, you know, to 1.5. So 1.5, this one... 2.5 and that's all so 2.5 kilo fish at this map is like the maximum so you want to have a rod that can handle that amount of weight some people are going into the other maps that have fish that weigh you know anywhere between 15 to 20 kilo or plus and they're using setups that can only handle catching fish that are about 10 kilos. Or they're using a stronger line that can cat that is enough to reel in those fish, but the rod and reel still isn't strong enough. You can't just have a stronger line and not a stronger rod and reel, otherwise you snap the rod and reel. Um, and you always need to have your line as the weaker one and not your rod or your reel. Your line is much cheaper to replace and repair than your rod and reel are. So, yeah, I hope hope this is explaining it all clearly enough and I'm not just dribbling shit. <laughs> um, yeah, well, if you have any questions, send me a message or write it in the comments and I'll do my best to help you out and explain it further. And maybe there's some other people out there who use this method as well and they might be able to help too. But yeah, all the best with it and hopefully you can start catching those fish and having less issues. Alright, see you next time.